Hello and welcome to CET 4884 Security Methods and Practice. In this course we will def uh, define information security. We will also address the questions of why do we need to secure information. The discussion through the semester will include the importance of information and how it's being atta uh, attacked. Uh, knowing the importance of securing information, we will address the different methods used to minimize the attack. Then we will address the methods used to recover after the attack. Those areas and discussions will be explained over several chapters and through different methods. In the first chapter, let's review the meaning of information security concepts and the history behind this concept. So what's information security? Informa information security is the protection of information assets that use, store, or transmit information from risk through the application uh, of policy, education, and technology. We are trying to protect the information. The information here is considered as one of the assets for the organization. And to do that, we need to uh, uh, apply some kind of policies within the organization. We need to train and educate the people. We need to add some kind of technology. Before we can begin analyzing the details of the information security, it's necessary to review the history of computer security and information. So we'll know exactly what uh, was done before, how did they do it, and we understand the uh, information security uh, uh, over the years and where uh, did it come to uh, these days. In the World War, uh, war um, the First World War um, and the Second, um, there was a need to uh, crack the code that's being sent between the enemies and their alliance uh, countries. So uh, groups started to work on developing a computer that was able to break the code through several computation. Hence, uh, there was a need to secure the country information based on that multiple level of security that were um, uh, or should be implemented to uh, protect the information or the communication between the different parts of the country. At that point of time, security mainly concentrated on physical controls, which limited the access to sensitive military locations to, uh, un, uh, to uh, authorized personnel only, or uh, it will keep the unauthorized personnel out of the, those premises or those locations. There was no application um, classification uh, projects for computers or operating systems at that time because the primary threat to security were physical theft of equipment, uh, espionage uh, against the products of the systems, and sabotage. This is an earlier version of the German coding machine uh, that's called Enigma. This coding machine was um, uh, used to send the code between the different um, units of army or um, the um, headquarter and the other units uh, to make sure that no one can uh, understand the code or uh, understand uh, the commands that will be sent to each unit. But um, the Poles managed to break that code in the uh, 1930s. Then um, the British and Americans uh, managed to break the code and understand uh, that code. In the 60s, the Department of Defense was exploring new methods of communication um, information between defense agencies. The Department of Defense Research Agency, named as Advanced Research uh, procurement Agency, or ARPA, began examining the feasibility of 
a redundant networked communication system designed to support the military's need to exchange information. One of the rising researchers was Larry Roberts, uh, known as the founder of the internet, developed the projects or the project from its uh, inception. In the 70s and 80s, the uh, ARPANET grew in popularity and use, which created a potential for misuse of the system. In December of 1973, Robert M. McAlfey indicated that there, wa uh, there were fundamental problems with ARPANET security. Individual remote users sites did not have sufficient controls and safeguards to protect data against unauthorized remote users. There were no safety procedures for dial-up connections to the uh, ARPANET. User identification and authorization to the system were non-existent. Phone numbers were widely distributed and openly publicized on the walls of the restrooms and phone booths giving hackers easy access to ARPANET. Much of the focus for research on computer security centered on a system called Multisys. The Multiplexed Information and Computing Services. In mid-1969, not long after the restructuring of the Multisys project, several of the key players created a new operating system called Unix. While the, multi, uh, the Multisys system had planned security with mul uh, multiple security levels and passwords, the Unix system did not. In the late 1970s, the microprocessor brought a new age of computing capabilities and security threats as these microprocessors were networked. With the existence of a new system or new systems, there was a need for policies, rules, and multiple controls to secure the network computers. It began with Rand Roberts R609, uh, sponsored by the Department of Defense, which attempted to define multiple controls and a mechanism necessary for protecting of the multi-level computer systems. The scope of computer security grew from physical security to include safety of the data itself, limiting of random and unauthorized access to the data, involvement of personnel from multiple levels of the organization, and at this stage, the concept of computer security evolved into the more sophisticated system we call information security.